Let's talk about one uh, bigger change to the initiative process here, uh, House Bill 145. Rich, let's start with you for a moment on this. Uh, it does several things, but one in particular is this ongoing tally of, of the signatures themselves. It used to be we'd wait for this one date, the clerk would say, here they are. And we see if they made it or didn't make it, but now, rolling. Well, there are two parts to this, I think. One is that April 15 was the deadline, and then May 15, or the, a month later was the deadline for removals. And as I understand this bill, it requires the regular introduction of these petitions that have been signed to the clerks mm -hmm. and a regular posting of those names and a regular s time period during which removals can occur and a simultaneous conclusion of the entire process, which means that, that there should be the capacity to vote some, to, to kind of keep tabs of some of the numbers here. And that process now ends on February 15th. Much and, earlier. And my bill, yeah, February 15th, it goes to my bill. Right, and so if you start blending those, yeah. you've got a clerk's office, so so there's the political and philosophical side, there's also the execution side yeah, the execution of elections side, right, that right, I right, think right. we should participate in and not just point at, but you have a clerk's office that are in some, in, in some instances don't have huge staffs, and now they're responsible for real-time vote validation, or not, uh, signature gathering validation. Mm -hmm. They're also responsible for the rescinding if that happens. And validation of the rescinding, which didn't occur previously. That's correct, in a shortened now yes. and condensed time period, and the staffing of that alone. So with three ballot measures, four, well, anywhere from three to five three to this five. last cycle, right, right. that right. were participating in the signature right. gathering process, right. It overwhelmed a system, not because the system wasn't good, but because the system wasn't prepared for that volume. The legislation that just passed now increases the intensity and the the uh, the responsibility of the local clerks mm. to validate these signatures in a real time manner and validate the and, and, and then remember yeah. who's talking to you or a bunch of campaigns that are you know yeah, I mean, yelling at just you. To, just to add to that, because I think what they have done historically is they've surged their staff with temporary uh, employees who Long have temps. allowed them to, to kind of move through uninterrupted. This may in fact cause, a dis this, this regularity may cause some staffing and financial issues. Uh, yes, go ahead. Well, right. the only thing I would, I would say is that, you know, I mean, I was aware of all three bills that were moving through. They were, all three of them originated in the House. And um, I was talking a lot to the elections people and I never heard, I mean, this might, is gonna be interesting to know what Mara and Rich are, 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 uh, are talking about here. I think it'll be interesting to know going forward Forward, how valid that is, but I didn't hear from the clerks that they maybe thought there was going to be that kind of a staffing problem. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll see. I guess we'll monitor that closely. If, if you don't mind, just one moment on when we have have signatures, Rich, this impacts something you worked on too, right? If I always know where we are through the whole step of the process, I mean, is that giving the opposition just as much opportunity as it does well, the supporters? First of all, the, the, the last go round, I really believe we thought it impossible to get enough removed signatures to get something off the ballot. Yeah, you did. But in the last session, we recognized that our signature gathering profession in the state has gotten better and that they really nearly eliminated two. They eliminated one, count my vote, yeah. but they were within 62 signatures, I believe, on medical marijuana 62. of eliminating that. And, and so this, I think, creates an effort to try and allow people to more, uh, to, uh, to not give people a 30 day free window with a treasure map to go out and get removals. And I think it's advantageous, but I gotta look at this a little more yeah. before I'm gonna say, Wow, we got some. Okay. You know, we well, that was the intent. That was the intent, yeah. Rich. And we also have to remember, we talked about this for a second, the equivalencies of where this goes. Signature gathering isn't discussion and voting on the issue. Signature gathering is akin to opening a bill file. Right. It's how you have the public discussion. Right. So tinkering with it too much makes you question why yeah. we're tinkering with it. Mm -hmm. All this is saying, and, and I hear this when people say they didn't even know what they were signing. That shouldn't happen. But the consequence is you just move into a public discussion. Mm -hmm. It is not a vote on the legislation. It's a vote to vote on the to legislation. Vote. I just vote to vote. That it's even worse when you hear someone say, I didn't know that I was removing my name. That that is, is, that's, that's even worse for, you, for, your, for your group. That's even worse. Thank you for the uh, extra discussion <laughs> on this very important issue. Thank you.